bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hey there, out in YouTube land. Welcome to French Hawes Bear Reviews. This uh, is Scott. He's Jeff. And we are here tonight with... Mr. Freeze. And a class. What's the subject? Social studies uh, tonight. One of my favorites, actually. We're teaching from Castle Island in Norwood, Mass. Uh, we have a 16-ounce class right, right now, today. 7.8% of the class is almost finished. Yes. Uh, 45 IBUs are required as a prerequisite to this class. Okay. Um, so now that we're all on, on the same page, take your notebooks out and get ready uh, for class. Yeah. Ella sits in the front row. Yes, Ella Hops is featured in this rotational hop series by Castle Island. Um, this particular can was canned on uh, 419 of this year. Today is uh, May 8th, so it's pretty flippin' fresh. Yes. And it looks beautiful. I've had Ella Hops in something else. I can't. Yeah, we've had, definitely had them before. I actually made Ella Hops. As long as, as, as well as Doc here. I can't them. remember what it was, but it was a neat little, I think it was a bottle. I can smell this from here and it smells delicious. This is a hazy IPA. From Castle Island, Norwood, Mass. Oh, uh, it's got a little bit of a nice globe on there. You know, you'd find in the classroom with a USSR on there. Is that right? Oh, I mean, uh, that's kind of like the one we have right across from us over there in the front. Oh, oh God, it smells good. great. Um, Steve Rawson with the donation. Thank you, sir. Steve Always a pleasure. Steve is a, a frequent donator to the channel, and um, I know he, he tunes in and uh, came with us to Brew Woo in Worcester. Brew Woo! And um, Steve was over just this past weekend sharing some great beers. I always feel like like whatever I give to Steve is like is like half as good. Like I'm the kid who comes to school with a bologna sandwich, and he's got like the fresh carved turkey from home, and I'm like, oh, here's... no, fuck that! I take fucking bologna every time. You're like, here's this bologna. bologna. Steve. No offense, and, Steve, but and he's like, oh, I got this like turkey I just cut off the carcass at home, and like, is there cheese on that? It doesn't matter. On the bologna, at least. All I'm saying is Steve brings it. Oh, he does. I'm just challenging your theory that he turkey does. is and he always likes to, He loves sharing. He's kind of like a giant Care Bear. He just loves sharing. <laughs> and he knows that means he's caring. So we've got some inconsistent bubbles here, but mainly uh, on the small variety. You've been yapping a lot about it. We have Care Bears. So. Hazy, you got any sediment in there? Any sea monkeys? I don't see sea any. Sea monkeys? No. No, but definitely a haze. No, oh, God, yeah. Uh, looks like if you poured a pineapple... Straight pineapple juice into a glass. Did I tell you my uh, thing I heard on the radio about pineapple? No. If you have uh, ants, you put a oh. half a teaspoon of crushed pineapple on your countertop, and you come out, come down the next morning, and all the ants are dead. Apparently, it's sweet to draw them, and it acid kills them. But I haven't tried it myself, so don't try that at home. Yeah, acid kills people too. Yes. LSD is back. It smells great. Um, a little cat pee thing going on. Yeah. But not in a bad way. A little fruitiness. Pineapple, actually. Yeah. Pineapple cat pee. Have a bit of that. A little freshly dried mango, dankness. I think, is in there. Yeah. Slight dankness. Cheers. Pretty damn good. Yeah. Really Really good. <laughs> um, not like bashing you over the head with tropical stuff, mm -hmm. but just enough in there. Maybe a little less in the in the flavor than the aroma that I was expecting. Right. Um, no cat pee in the taste, which is great. Thank God. Yeah. Nothing um, worse than sucking on the little box. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we've all done it. <laughs> yeah. And what Ellie's wants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a real. Can it's a I drinker. A pleasant beer. Yeah, it's pleasant. Yeah, it's a drinker. I mean, not pounded drinker, because I think after like six of them, you probably get tired. 
Yeah, it's nice. Mm. Light, tropical citrus kind of thing going on. Um, I like it. Uh, I like it quite a bit. Me too. Castle Island is... Um, no, they're pretty solid. Everything... I mean, you... you good enla- place to enlighten go. Enlighten me to them. And they're... Uh, if you guys get to Castle Island, buy the high def and the candle pin and mix them together. We'll talk about this later, Scott. Yeah. For a def cam. I'm not saying it's bad. Def cam. Def cam brings the alcohol down to around like six, a little over six, because sometimes the high def is too much. But the candle pin is not enough sometimes when you got kids and you're stressed out and you're like, God, I need a little more. But I don't need to go to bed at 9. I want to go to bed at 10. So you mix a, a candle pin with a high def, and there you go. You can last a little bit longer. Anywho. Right. We're on social studies. What do you got on social studies with uh, featuring Ella Hops? I got my grade. Uh, I got my grade. Ah, uh, fourth. Two, that's what I have. Add add a point for using my daughter's hops. <laughs> so four three. All right. So I'm four two. So we we are four, four two, two five. five. Woo. You and your math skills again. I'm um, I'm better at math than I am at social studies, but with this with this Hopefully as, you're better at math than a lot of things. But. With this as a, a topic for social studies, I'm gonna do a little better. Um, untapped four one seven. So we're right in the ballpark. Within uh, like a quarter of a point there. Yeah. Which we usually are. We seem to be, anyhow. We're pretty freaking dialed in. Especially these IPAs. Oh, yeah. So it's great. So, um, we're, what, five hundredths above, eight hundredths above the average. What is it, 4.25 versus 4.17? Yeah, so we're eight hundredths above. That's pretty close. But this is a great beer. This is good. Thank you, Steve, for this beer. It's very tasty, very light and citrusy. Something you want to drink on a day like uh, today was very nice, about 70 degrees outside, sunny, yeah. and um, just uh, refreshing and crisp, and what I like in uh, a hazy IPA. Yeah. That's about all I got for this one. Castle Island has done it again. Another good beer. They make good beer. They do. And it's a nice brewery to visit, so check it out. Check us out. Uh, down below. Uh, down below, all our social media places. Yeah. And if you like these type of videos, subscribe. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Don't tell your friends, but notify yourself that you're getting the videos. Yeah. So, you know you're getting the videos. Yeah. Um, if you're going to watch us, you might as well subscribe. Let us know what beers to try. We're trying to do more beers you can find in stores. Yes. Um, Give us, I mean... Suggest them, donate them. I mean, I don't want to push for the donations too much because we can pretty much get those, but... Yeah. Let us know. know. Speak to us. We don't know if you don't tell us. We respond. We do respond quite quickly. to Scott, mostly. Sometimes me. Yeah. I have no life. Thank you, guys. Check us out next time. Have a great night. Thank you. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hall.